Alright, so now that we have the top cut, we're going to put just a little bit of Loctite on this screw. And let's see here. Sorry guys, I don't have quite small enough bits, so I'm just going to hand thread this. Make sure you still have some sticking out because this is going to be where your slipper clutch gear is going to sit on. So make sure you have some sticking out, some room, and now we're going to be putting an e-clip on the other end, right here. Alright guys, so now we're going to need to take this little tiny pen right here and we have to take it and stick it in the hole on the shaft. Take the gear and make sure it swallows that, like that. Then take the black spacer and thread it on like that. And then we're going to take this e-clip and place it right here alright so now we have the shaft alright guys I just had a little bit of trouble making this work right here so um I had this gear set backwards since this gear has a little bit of an extra chunk on it. So that made it a little tricky for me at first until I figured out how it was actually supposed to be. Stuff falling apart here. So it goes like this and then we have to make this gear here. And you have to shove a bearing in this side, and then you take the other side and you stick another bearing in it, and then you can stick it on this, like that, and then this, and then you take it and you stick it in that little plastic piece right there. Oops, this one's not supposed to be in here yet. So now we take this gear right here and we stick it on like that. And now it wants us to take the transmission cover right here and Stick it on just like this. For this next step, we're going to be building the slipper clutch. And... Alright, so we have a little paper telling us how to do it. Alright, so first of all, we're going to need to take this piece right here and we're going to stick it on flat side up like that and then we're going to need one of these pieces on the gear like that and then one more on the other side of the gear and we're going to need
just this one piece right here like that. And then we're going to be using this piece right here. And spring. That. And with the tools included in the kit, we're going to take this and tighten it down. So now that we have it tightened all the way down, it says to back off five and a half turns. So, alright. One, two, three, four, five, and a half. So there you go right there, and then there's some steps that you have to follow for putting in the motor, and I don't have a motor right now, so we're going to skip that, and then it tells you how to mesh the gears.